In the previous video, we have been using this in-memory list within the controller. Like I said before, eventually we're going to use repository to retrieve data directly from the database, but we still don't want to have a in-memory list within the controller. We would rather have an in-memory repository that hosts the in-memory data in there. So in this video, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our solution explorer. And let's go ahead and create a repository folder under the models folder because this is a in-memory repository. That's why I'm creating it under the models folder. Eventually, when we work on actual repositories, we're going to create a class library for that purpose. Repositories. And let's create a class and let's call it shirt repository. This is going to be, like I said, in-memory class that hosts the data. And that's why I'm using a static class. And let's go to the shirt controller and let's cut this and paste it over here. So of course this will become a static member that hosts the data inside a static class. And we will need two methods here at least. Right? The first one is that we need to be able to tell whether a shirt actually exists in the in-memory data store or not. Okay, so shirt exists and provide ID here. And we're gonna simply just use link. We're gonna say x goes to x.shirtID equals ID. If there's any of them, then it's gonna return true. So the second method we're gonna implement is get shirt by ID. And we're going to return shirt, get shirt by ID. So now again, we're gonna use link. We're gonna just say first or default, x goes to x dot shirt ID equals ID. Now it gives me this green squiggly line is telling me that possible null reference. Well, because I'm using dot night eight, I think I mentioned before, I have to use question mark just to specify that I accept the possibility of having a null as the shirt. Right? And then we're just gonna handle that in our code. All right, so after I implement this, I am going back to the shirt controller and I'm going to use the repository. So here, everything's fine, but here I don't have shirts anymore. I'm just going to use shirts repository and I'm going to get shirt by ID. I provide the ID over here. So if it's null, then not found. Okay, let's give it a try and see whether it works or not. Okay, using our postman, we're going to get a shirt on number three. We're still having the shirt. Right? What if I provide minus nine and I have a bad request 400? That's correct. What if I have positive nine? I have a not found 404. So that's all correct. And that's what I want to cover in this video. And I'll see you in the next one.